Yo, what is good dev guys? It's your boy Kang. Yes, sir. I'm back with another video. And in this video, I want to walk you guys through the process of creating a custom morph for your CC3 character inside of 3D code. Now, there's a, a couple of videos out there on YouTube that show you how to do this, but they're using a, a method that doesn't allow you to do high poly sculpting on your mesh and, and kind of keep that detail and bake it back down to the low poly mesh. I'll be showing that in another video as well. But in this video, I want to show you how to get a base morph setup that will allow you to, to actually have a jumping point to start with that high poly detail. So what we're going to do is just jump into CC3. I want to go ahead and first off, go to my content folder, go to my base tab here, and I want to go to full body, and I want to load this neutral object here, this neutral M preset here. This will allow us to, to kind of interchange in between female and male with our morph. And it uh, will just have less issues when we're creating our morph if we do it on a neutral base. So uh, another thing I want to do is go to the scene tab here. And I want to get rid of this bra and I want to get rid of the, these underwear. And now we can go ahead and export this character out as an OBJ. And we want to do nude character and bind pose. And now these... These two settings here, they're fine. We can go ahead and hit export. And whenever you export something out of CC3, it creates this uh, key file that we will need to use at a later time when it comes to keeping our, uh, our, our objects in sync. I did a lot of tests in there that I deleted. Uh, so if we go to this folder, the 3D code folder, you see there's this uh, testmail.obj key file. This is the key file that we'll need to keep here. Make sure you don't delete this on accident. So go into 3D code, and I'm just going to go into the Retopo room. Now, the other videos, they show you how to file, import, and then you import the model as a painting object. And then you go into like the tweak room, and you use the move tool in here. But that, does, like I said, that doesn't allow you to, to use the mesh as a high poly object and use uh 3D code's wonderful baking features to bake the normal data back down to the low poly mesh. So what I'm going to do is get you started and set up for that. So we're going to go to the Retopo room. We want to go File, Import, and we want to import our Retopo mesh. And we want to pass in that testmail.obj. And when we hit Apply here, it's going to go ahead and create all the poly groups for all the different groups of polygons inside of this character. But you'll see if we go into the sculpt room, there is no sculpt objects to, to edit here. We do have like this outline of our, our of our retopo object, but there's no actual sculpt object to mess with. So what we want to do is go to the retopo room, come over here to mesh, turn off subdivide, and we also want to hit this sculpt mesh. And this will go ahead and create a copy of all of these polygroups as a sculpt object that we can now edit inside the sculpt room. So if we navigate to the sculpt room, um, one thing that you want to ensure that you have turned on is this conform retopo mesh. This feature here allows you to move this sculpt mesh. And once you finish moving it, the, the retopo mesh will kind of form its way around a kind of like a symbiote, like venom. It'll just sink its way around of the high poly mesh. So let me go ahead and go to the move brush here. I press space on my uh, keyboard to bring up this quick panel here. And let me, where is the move brush? Where are you, move brush? Hey, there you are. Um, so one thing you want to do is turn on symmetry. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard, hit X. So for X symmetry. And um, I want to pick from bounding box just to make sure that we have uh, perfect symmetry. And I want to navigate to the base body. That's where we're going to be doing our morph here. So if we go, if we go ahead and we start messing with this guy here, like giving him some buff shoulders here. I'm using my mouse. Usually I'd be using a, a pen for this uh, just so I could take it easy on my fingers. But if you pull, you can see, you can see that the, the sculpt mesh is moving, but the retouple mesh is not moving. But once you let go of your mouse or you pull up on your pen off the tablet, that uh, uh, the retouple mesh will go ahead and line itself up with the, uh, the sculpt mesh. So let's give him a huge, let's give him a huge dome here. Um, get there, get that in there. Uh, he's got a nice mega mind head going here. Um, maybe a long, long pointy chin. 
Oh, whoops. Don't want to do that to the shoulders. There is like that little visual defect there. Don't worry too much about that. It's fine. Um, nothing really happened. It's just a, a bug, maybe. I am using the beta version of 3D Code. It might be different in the stable version. So let me pull this nose out. And here, let's make him skinny there. Let's give him some big knees. Big wide knees. Cause he's bow legged. Um, and what I think that's pretty much all we'll do for this morph. Maybe I'll mess with the shoulders some more so they fit a bit more. And that's all we're going to do for this morph. So now navigate back to the retopo room. And then one thing we want to do is go into mesh and turn off the sculpt mesh. And this will just keep our uh our retopo mesh here lined up for us. So now what we want to do is go file, export poly object, and this will just export all of the visible poly groups inside of the uh, the poly group tree here. And that'll export it out as a, we can choose to export it out as an FBX, but since we're working with OBJ, uh, we can go ahead and keep it as OBJ. I'm gonna call this my adjusted mail here. And that'll go ahead and export it out for us to see it's fairly quick. Now, if I go come back over here to CC3, I could just go ahead and go to create, go to morph slider, and let's give this a name. Let's call this my really dumb morph. We're gonna put it in a body category, and then we can set up a, a different file path here. You see the base file path is actor, body, and if you change this to head, it'll go actor, head, and so on and so forth. But we wanna go actor, body, and then we wanna put this in a custom folder. And I want to call it, put this in a, another folder called GT. So from the source morph, the source morph, we want to select this current morph that we're using right now. And a target morph, we want to select a file that's on disk, and that's going to be our adjusted mail. Now here's that uh, that OBJ key file that we need to pass in that I showed you earlier. We just go ahead and double click on that. Now when we hit OK, it'll go ahead and do some thinking. Uh, uh oh, something happened. Uh, so this happens whenever polygons are um whenever you adjust the vertex count or whenever like polygons might mess up on each other and i think i've seen an error with our uh with our mesh somewhere around here maybe one of the polygons got joined in together so let me go ahead and let's start a new object here i don't want to save this um and this is the tedious part about it and this is what uh, ZBrush kind of saves you from running into. But I'm gonna go to the retopo room, go to file, uh, import, import the retopo mesh again. And it's good that we've seen that, uh, that error there because most people will get that error and they don't know how to deal with it. I was one of those people, but you just need to make sure that you don't accidentally join uh, vertices together. And when you're moving that sculpt mesh, sometimes if you move across symmetry it'll kind of join vertices together so let's go back to mesh let's go back to sculpt mesh and then let's just go back to the sculpt room and let's uh continue to edit on here i'm gonna bring up my move brush again we're already in it and let's try to not make any uh errors here so i'm gonna go to the base body activate symmetry and try to stay on one side of our symmetrical plane here, just so we don't cross any vertices into each other. Um, so yeah, let's give them that dome. Let's give them that chin. And maybe we can give them some cheekbones. Yeah, give them some nice weird, weird cheekbones there. And I'm going to grab these shoulders again and pull them up, give them a thick neck. And we won't do too much work on this second one since it was an error. So go back to the retopo room, of course. And we want to make sure we turn off sculpt mesh and then file export poly object. And let's just save over that adjusted mail. Hit save. Yeah. Let's go back here and now let's pass in the uh, well, we can keep all these settings the same. It should work here since we didn't uh, adjust any polygons here. You see that it just easily fixed itself. So if we go to our morph 
little tab over here, we can go to that file path. Mine was actor body custom in GT. And now we have our really dumb morph here. If we go ahead and activate that, it does look really dumb. Holy moly, that was right on the money. Look at that. Look at those eyeballs. Yeah, so uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Oh, uh, one other thing I want to show you is that this does work for the female as well. So if I go to a new project, just so I don't have to blur out the, the tits, because I already deleted the, uh, the bra and the underwear. If I just start a new project, it automatically starts with a female. And I can navigate to that, uh, that custom folder, GT. And I can give her the really dumb morph too. And now we got a, a female version of this really dumb morph here. So, uh, yeah, let me, let me zoom in on this, see how stupid it is. But yeah, there we go, man. Uh, it's that easy to create a, a morph inside of a 3D coat. So uh, if you guys got any questions, jump inside the comment section or hop in my Discord. Uh, make sure to mention me, man. I have no problem with you guys mentioning me. The, the Discord is very, really small, and sometimes the notifications don't get pushed through. So be sure if you got a question to ask me, just mention me, man, and I'll see if I can answer it to the best of my abilities. But yeah, man, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.